true. The reverse is true. I hope you guys are having a good time. You're enjoying yourselves. The music is amazing. Kama kawaida. Manze, manze. You know, you know what? Tumele kambio, ha? But simbio sana. Simbio sana. Like, tugadi na time. Bado tunendambio sana. Bado tunendambio. And that's how Fridays should sound like. That's how Fridays should feel like. Now, guys, I promise that I'll bring one of my favorite artists. And I think you also like him so much, Milton. Hey, Mimi. You know? Nilikobo tu chaza goma flani alicha alimba na madini classic. Oh, yeah. It's okay. We'll play. We'll play it. We still have a lot of time. Guys, you all know Gilad. I mean, Gilad, the last time I interviewed him was like... I think I was still here at yeah. Y254. Uh -huh. And you know, he came with his guitar and there was this... Oh, okay. Like he serenaded the entire studio. We were like, oh <laughs> my goodness, this cannot be happening. Yeah, and yeah. we are so lucky to have him again. This time not in studio, but on Zoom. Because you know of this coffee and the lockdown. Yeah. So he's really accepted. I mean, it's we are honored that he accepted to mm -hmm. come live with us. Mm -hmm. And definitely, I think the main reason why we did this was because of the new song that he's done. Manze, no masala. Amazing. That song, that song is lit. I know, so don't go anywhere. We'll be playing for you his new song. And we're going to be talking to him in a few. So, you ready? Do you want to play a bit of his song, his I'm older song? I'm a, I'm actually, Kuna, there's a song which, play, which is playing at the background. Say, hey. Yeah. Play it. Hey, Milele. <laughs> you i miss the good old days where i could be up close and personal singing to you in studio oh, i know and we were really hoping for that and we hope tomorrow the president might think otherwise and say otherwise so we can have we that waiting, we are waiting. <laughs> but do you think do you think it is up i'm a, we might just still get locked in all day i thought it was going to happen all day i was convinced tomorrow is the day and then I read somewhere in a newspaper that all his advisors are telling him it's dangerous. So now I'm thinking I don't know anymore and we'll just wait and see. I know. Yes, I've just been here like, you know, looking at all the memes that are going around about how people will dance tomorrow, if, you know. But oh, then again, anyway, what counts is the fact that we, we are safe. I think our safety is, is, is what comes. coming tomorrow. You saw that meme? From <laughs> South oh God, that is so yeah. And then we were just there laughing. Like he laughed out loud. That is so funny. Yeah. That, was, that, was, that, was, that was really, anyway, it's something. But we hope everything is, is, um, is going to be okay. We'll come out of this. And I think we've learned a lot in this, um, in this COVID time when we are all locked yeah. down. I'm, I'm, I'm telling people that, like, I've learned a lot. Because, you know, you spend so much time with yourself, you learn a lot about, I mean, who you really are, right? Kai, is it true? Yes, um, yeah, it's like I've, I've been telling people, I, I, the moment the lockdown began, I, uh, I started uh, writing new songs. So I, I kind of grabbed the guitar as soon as I locked us down and I started writing songs. The first of which is uh, the new song, Mawingu, that you're playing tonight. But there's a whole yeah. bunch of new songs coming because I've been writing and I've been recording. So I've been using my time wisely. Uh -huh. That is uh, that's amazing. Um, I, I know I, I've, I've listened to Mawingu and we're going to be playing it in a few, right, yeah, DJ? Yeah, yeah. But before we, we get to that, I mean, uh, of course, I think many people know who you are. And I mean, you have a, like a lot of fans and there are people who are diehard fans like us guys here. But there are people who want to know, like, who is this Gilad guy? Where did he come from? And we all know where you came from, but I'm sure there are people back there who really don't know where you came from and your little past. We are trying to gossip in Swahili, but we know you understand. <laughs> okay, so what? I tell, I'll tell you a bit about me. My name is Mzungu. I'm in Swahili. Mzungu, I'm in Swahili. A.K.A. Balozi wa Mapenzi. A.K.A. Mfame wa Mapenzi. A.K.A. Mzungu wa Afrika. All of these wonderful names Kenyans have given me. Yeah. And, uh, you know, about, uh, I, was, I used to represent Israel here as a diplomat. And then I worked yeah. here in, uh, in uh, Kampuni uh, Yamkulima, uh, Amiran, for a few years. And yeah. then, uh, out of the blue, I released a song in 2015, Unajua Pamoja na Wendy Kimani. And yes. uh, it went really, really well. And then Sema Milele, which you were playing earlier. 
And the rest, yeah. as they say, is history. I stayed with it. A wing with my song number 21. Whoa, wow, wow, wow. Did you ever think, I mean, when you were working, did you ever think you'd just stop and go into music and your music no. would be such a hit? No, no. I gave up music completely. I, I was a music. Position in my 20s uh, yeah. when I was living in Israel in Jerusalem. I had a band uh, back then and I quit music when I was 20 something, 23, 24. I quit yeah. music completely and I went to work for government for news. I had careers and I just forgot about it completely. And then when I came back to Kenya, I started singing again for fun, live music, which I, that's the thing I miss most. We talk about COVID, you know, and being locked down. I miss the yeah. crowd because there's nothing that compares to live music and feeling the energy of the crowd. So I'm really waiting that we can go back and, you know, and, and perform live. But uh, yeah, that's the story. Went back to singing around 2015 and we're yeah. still here now, five years later. You know, make it, you know, just killing it. That, that song, Najua with Wendy. Uh, <laughs> the Najua with Wendy was like, it was your first track and it, it was such a hit. It was a huge hit. Yeah. Until today, people still do play it. It still is. That song gets like 100,000 views a month on YouTube now. Wow. Still. Wow. You know, wow. it's still very, very popular. You get people writing. And, you know, mm. people who are in their 20s now, that means they were 17, 18 when, when Unajua came out. And everybody still connects to the song now. So, know. you know, it's a good feeling that music is timeless and can still be relevant five, six years after. Absolutely, and that's we what say, I, I mean, when people do songs, just do something that people can listen to years and years, now, you know, from today. It's not just something that's, you know, I mean, something timeless, it's not something that people will listen to today and then tomorrow, they just don't even want to be associated with it. You know what I mean? I've been lucky like that, you know, I mean, Unajua, Sema Milele, Rangi Ya Bahari, yes. Nakua uh -huh. Hiti, Salama, yeah. all of these yeah. songs, you know, they, they are still relevant today. Even in uh, in 2019, we did Kawaida Guy, Misamehe with Nai Boy, and all of those songs are still getting a lot of views and very popular, and people are leaving their comments. So that's a really good feeling, you know. It's a good vibe that people still enjoy the music. Uh, I great, great. Now talk to me about Mawingu. Mawingu like sounds sounds amazing. I, I feel like it's a very different um, sound that I I don't know why I've totally connected with it. I. The, first of all, the sound itself, I went back to my first producer, the same yeah. guy who produced Najua and Sema Milele, that's MG. And there was mm -hmm. another guy working in studio with us called Moses. And he kind of, you know, every person who's involved contributes and brings their own personality. So he's yeah. from Congo. He kind of pushed the music in a different direction and mm -hmm. gave it a bit of a more rock feel. It's yes. a bit different for me. Yes. Um, but I really like the way it came out. You know, like I said, it's the first of several songs i'm about mm. to release and wow. every one of them is like a, a you know a different vibe um mm -hmm. and in terms of the lyrics you know everybody re released their own corona song right people call it corona <laughs> yeah. Yeah. yeah i didn't call it corona but Awingu is that song about being locked up about waiting for you know the words the chorus goes kabla gizak wingia baby come home mm -hmm. kabla mbua kuanza baby come home so i mean it, it's exactly that <laughs> if you look at the music video on youtube there's a yeah. shot of a clock that shows 6 p.m. And my curfew is almost here. Ah, and yeah. Years, you know? So it yeah. really is, you know, it was written in this time and it was really raining bad last month. So it's kind mm -hmm. of, you know, that kind of vibe of, of what we were going through. And it's yeah. very, you know, sign of the times, but also a timeless love song, I hope, you know. It, it is, you know, it's kind of in that song. It, it, it reminded me of Daughtry. You know Daughtry, right? That is a rock artist. Yes. No, no like seriously. Because that's, I mean, I know I'm a DJ and I listen to like all types of music, but I'm, I'm a huge fan of Dottery. So when I was listening to her, I was like, I, and I was just like, that's what you should be saying. That is so you, like you sounded absolutely good. And I, I can't wait to listen to the other songs that you've, you've done. Why you, you, why were you two? I originally come from rock, you know, I mean, that's what I used to do when I was in my 20s. And then wow. when I came, when I started singing again, I was a bit older. So I pulled more of a reggae vibe, which is a bit lighter, yes. a bit feel good. Yes. And this is kind of a mix. What I'm doing now is a bit of a mix of both. Call it reggae and rock, you know, kind of a mix of yeah. both. And it, people responded really well. 
I know. Me being one of them and Milton being one of them. Like us guys have just been playing it here. Mm -hmm. And I think we should play it one more time. Yeah. But I don't want to keep you on Zoom call for such a long time as we play the song. But I wish, Yanni, I wish you could up with your guitar. You know the way you always do it? I'm to the other room and I can bring it quickly. And grab the, oh, that would be amazing. You know? I would have, I would have, I would have asked you to sing for me. A bit of song before we play it, we play it here, but I don't know how that will that will sound. But a cappella, let's try. Good. Let's try. Let's go. Where did you disappear? Baby, come home. Baby, come home. Come home. Like that. The rest what I give you to sing live. Huh? <laughs> yes, we're going to be playing it in a few. And you you know, your voice, I'm sure you don't get agree. His agree. voice, <laughs> like it's so rock, it's so daughtry type of uh, voice, right? Yeah. Okay, I'm going to play for you that song in a few, guys. You decide for yourself. It's a new song and there are many more songs coming from him. Let's play.